You know, there are certain comments you can walk back on television, and there are certain comments that you just can't excuse. Stephen A. Smith was lucky he was part of the former. ESPN's Stephen A. Smith, a very controversial, drama-filled commentator that appears regularly on their First Take program, got himself in some big hot water by comments he made referring to the fact that Shohei Otani would actually be an inhibitor despite breaking all sorts of records and sort of being the second coming of Babe Ruth because he doesn't publicly speak the English language. A lot of people wondered why Stephen A. Smith, who's admittedly kind of a jackass, didn't get suspended or fired for those comments as maybe a white reporter would have in the same circumstance. Well, I would actually say ESPN did a good job here in allowing Stephen A. Smith to, number one, publicly apologize, and then in subsequent segments on First Take, discuss how his comments were insensitive, even if not overtly racist. And this is where the difference lies. He didn't use any anti-Asian derogatory slang. He did not talk about him being of an inferior culture or anything like that. But it was still insensitive. And that fine line that was followed by an apology and then a conversation saved his job. And, and I give ESPN a lot of credit for that. I'm not a fan of Stephen A. Smith. Like, like I said, I, I, don't, I don't find his type of broadcasting all that entertaining for me. But I will say that I think leveraging his fame and leveraging the conversation to something productive, where fellow reporters took pot shots at him for a good segment or two, to which he took and talked about his failures, uh, was actually the right call.